I know that some of you aren't old enough to drive a car, so here's a little preview of what you can look forward to. There are paved roads, cement overpasses, and don't forget the concrete pillars supporting those roads and overpasses. So basically a big part of your future color palette will be beige, black, and sometimes a nice shade of gray. Of course, if it's this gray, it could be very, very stylish. But now there's one man who's working to make those colors more serene by turning road pillars a nice shade of green. Meet Fernando Ortiz Monasterio. He's the man behind the idea to green up Mexico City. Fernando and his team are beautifying Mexico's freeways and urban structures. They're called vertical gardens, and they're meant to bridge nature with man-made infrastructure while making our air cleaner. Fernando talked to me from his headquarters in Mexico City. Fernando, thank you for joining us on Innovation Nation. Thank you, Mo. Thank you for having me here with you. Please explain to us what a vertical garden is. A vertical garden is a solution that allows the people living in cities to have contact with nature through transforming all the vertical surfaces, such as walls, pillars, into a beautiful garden full of nature and full of life. Fernando chose a vertical garden because in crowded urban environments like Mexico City, there simply isn't enough room to grow many traditional gardens. So he decided to build up. Fernando knew he could contribute to improving Mexico City's poor air quality by adding more greenery to the city's congested urban environment. The vertical gardens have lots of envir environmental benefits, such as oxygen production and CO2 absorption. And then, depending on the plant we choose, they can filter toxic gases. How does it work? A vertical garden has a very specific technology that allows the roots of the plant not to grow in soil, but in a special felt. This felt is made out of plastic bottles that we recycle. The plants are able to grow through a hydroponic system, which means the water that's used has nutrients just like soil would provide. Practically any plant that you'll find in a horizontal garden, we can make it in a vertical surface. Well, Fernando, thank you for keeping our cities clean and beautiful. Thank you, Mo. Thank you for having me. The vertical gardens are designed to last around a hundred years, changing the landscape one garden at a time.